Hey, everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing well. The economy is not doing well, and this is an excellent sign of it turning over, rolling over from good times and into bad, and that is airline travel. Passenger travel is taking a hit, and the way we know this is airlines are being affected. Now, I've got two stories I want to go over with you, and this will concrete in you the the knowledge the understanding that things aren't what they seem they're not what the white house is telling you they are not what the media is telling you and that you should be getting ready for harder times and in harder times there's opportunity so the first story we're going to talk about right here is alaska air gets credit rating knocked down to junk status now just so you know just recently there was a merger between hawaiian and alaska right those are also signs when you see a bunch of mergers that things aren't doing well and one company is always stronger than the the other company and takes advantage. And in the airline industry, a lot of that ha comes down to taking over routes and being able to pick up aircraft and employees for pennies on the dollar. All right, here we go. This story here, Moody's rating cut a cut Alaska Group Incorporated's credit rating to junk status after the company said it plans to issue secured debt to refinance borrowings from its acquisition of Hawaiian Holdings Incorporated, according to a statement on Tuesday. Now, it says the credit, the credit uh, grader lowered the airline's issuer's rating to BAA1. This is the highest junk level from BAA3, the lowest investment grade score, and changed its outlook to negative from stable, signaling more downgrades could be coming in the medium term. Now, why is this a big deal? Because as you see, we have a situation where there are mergers happening because um, companies need to form alliances to stay competitive with the big boys. Okay, that's one. Number two, we see uh, situations where as sure, Alaskan can uh, go out and just print more shares or, or print debt, right? Bonds, whatever way it wants to go and raise that money to go buy something, but at what cost? And these credit issuers or the credit uh, score companies are sitting there looking going, wait a minute, we don't think that you're strong enough to issue that much debt. And so what we're going to do is downgrade you. And it's really important that people see the writing on the wall. Now, check out this other story. And again, out of the airline industry, this is having to deal with Southwest. It says here, uh, Southwest Airlines to cut service and staffing in Atlanta to slash costs. Now, this actually is an interesting story because somebody that I know, an insider of this channel, actually let me know that one of the houses in his a very affluent uh, uh, neighborhood, very wealthy neighborhood was purchased by an employee of Southwest, an airline pilot, and it was an expensive home. And I said it the day he told me about it, I said, and he told me about how much the property was. I said, this is on the eve of Southwest making tons and tons of cuts. Now it says here, uh, they're obviously here to cut service and staffing in Atlanta to slash costs, but let's dig in a little bit deeper. It says it's planning to reduce service to and from Atlanta next year, cutting more than 300 pilot and flight attendant positions, according to a company memo seen by, C seen by CNBC. Now, why would they be cutting these? It's because they aren't filling up planes. That is it. That is exactly it. It is that simple. It says the changes come a day before Southwest Investor Day when executives will map out the company's plan to cut costs and grow revenue as pressure mounts from activist investor Elliott Investment Management. Southwest told staff that it isn't cl uh, closing its crew base in Atlanta. Instead, it will reduce staffing by as many as 200 flight attendants and as many as 140 pilots for the April 2025 uh, bid month. Now, hopefully uh, one of those pilots that are losing their jobs or isn't the one that just bought that big house. The airline also isn't laying uh, the crews off but it will be likely having to bid for work from other cities. And you know what that does? And this is something that people need to understand. That is an easy way for an airline company to force people out by putting pressure on them saying, hey, we're not laying you off because we don't want to pay the unemployment. But what we're going to do is make it harder for you to survive and harder for you to thrive. And eventually you'll just quit. And that's a big deal. Look, we are moving into a massive, massive recession, if not a depression. And these are signs that you should be taking and go, you know what? The economy's slowing down. I'm not going to wait for the government to tell me we're in a recession. I'm not going to wait for the government to tell me we're in a depression. I'm going to start saving my money right now and get ready for good times. Why are they good times? Because when things go down and 99.9% .9 of the population isn't paying attention because they don't care, but you are, you're going to go out and you're going to absolutely crush it. I hope you crush it with me. The Economic Ninja 
is out. 